Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and let me give you a live report of what competitive looks like in Overwatch 2. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's what happens when a brand new hero like Kuriko joins competitive. <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke. Kuriko isn't the thing that's ruining competitive, even though some people would kind of be valid for saying that. <laughs> but the real things that are quote unquote ruining competitive are two major things the unintentional changes and the intentional changes. Now, when it comes to the unintentional changes, those are like the bugs and the glitches when it involves rank. I'm talking about diamond plus players being placed at bronze oh. five, and on the flip side, I'm talking about people lower than platinum being being put in GM lobbies. And not to mention that even the top 500 leaderboard is completely bugged where we don't know if the people in the top 500 are actually the top 500 of Overwatch 2 players. And while these unintentional changes truly are things that are ruining the competitive experience, they're not the things that's gonna be continuously ruining competitive because they're gonna be fixed by the end of season one. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> no, the things that people continuously complain about and say that is quote unquote ruining competitive Overwatch is the intentional change. The fact that new ranks are given after every 7 wins or 20 losses. That SR is now getting replaced by skill tiers. The fact that you don't even see a rank icon at the beginning of the match or even underneath your own player border. Something that nobody else can see besides yourself. Those are really the main things that I wanted to focus on when it comes to deciding what is better for competitive Overwatch. And I also want to ask you guys the question, what do you like better? The new rank system that's in place for Overwatch 2 right now or the old rank system? system in Overwatch 1. Because what I'm starting to see, to my honest surprise, is that people are absolutely hating the new competitive system within Overwatch 2. Which is why I wanted to comment down below your thoughts, but also give your reasons as to why you like the new competitive system, or you like the old system in Overwatch 1. Because me, personally, when I heard about the changes to competitive in Overwatch 2, on paper, it seemed like an amazing change, because the intentions with the changes was to remove the sting after every single defeat. Feet. However, what that also did indirectly is remove the rewarding aspect of every single victory because it doesn't give you instant feedback after a win or a loss with the exception of the victory and defeat sign after every single game. It doesn't tell you how much SR you won or in this case how much skill tier divisions you went up or down because well you have to win seven games before you get that feedback. And while at the beginning of a competitive season when you're climbing up in skill divisions and it feels great to not know the feedback but knowing at the end of the seven wins that you're probably gonna go up in skill divisions Eventually you're gonna hit your ceiling where you're not gonna be going up or really even going down in rank And that's when people are discovering the flaws in the new competitive system because you invest a couple of hours of your time Not knowing where you're gonna be and then after seven wins just getting the same exact rank Yeah, it doesn't feel that good It makes players feel that they wasted their time just to end up at the same exact spot that they started their play session at and even though there's a lot of other issues that we will talk about that seems to be the million dollar question that we need to answer before going into season two when it comes to keeping this competitive system or at least changing it is if we should have instant feedback to our rank like how it was in Overwatch 1 or if we should keep this competitive system moving forward in future seasons. Now when it comes to these types of topics I never try to inject my opinion to the point where it's morphing and manipulating your own opinion. I really want you to think for yourself and have your own thoughts about it, but here's what I will say on this competitive system. I understand the criticism to it is that it's very unrewarding and just downright boring. However, for me, I like the new competitive system, but I do feel like I am in the minority of liking the new competitive system and my thought process is, well, if the majority of players hate something, that we should change it because it's for the greater good of the game. But the reason why I like this new competitive system is that I hated losing more than I loved winning. And truthfully, I don't know if that's a good or a bad type of mindset to have, but that's just the reality of it, is that I hated seeing the SR just decrease after every single loss. So for me to not get instant feedback after any single game, and just being able to play competitive Overwatch, I truly enjoy that, because I'm not stressed about the rank and the SR. Now you might ask yourself, okay Brewerock, then why don't you play quick play? And to that I'll say, I actually enjoy playing quick play than most other people, because I don't feel that stress. But the other reason is because I like the organized Overwatch experience that you mainly get in competitive.
competitive. In quick play, you get people playing Symmetra, doing Century Bombs. You get people with, with playing Hammond, just throwing around. You get the Reddit Lucios, and truth be told, you also get that in competitive. But you get that more in quick play, and that's okay because, well, that's where people can just go and just mess around. But in competitive, there's sort of this expectation that's going to be a little bit more organized. And I like that version of Overwatch way more than the version in quick play. But that doesn't mean I hate quick play. <laughs> so I truly think that that's not so much of a hot take when discussing the new competitive system, but what could be a hot take is the fact that there's no longer SR, now just skill tiers, but also not displaying those skill tiers on a much more prevalent level. The only times that you actually see the rank is right before you go into a competitive match and on your career profile. And the intent behind that change is to make the competitive experience less toxic, again, just less toxic, I'm not saying it completely eliminates the toxicity, but that makes it so that if, like, say, a platinum player is playing with a gold player, no longer can they use the card of, well, I'm a plat player and you're a gold player, so you suck and I'm better because, well, you can easily private your profile and there's no way for them to know your rank, assuming that you private your profile because it doesn't display your rank at the beginning of the match. And I feel like that breeds an issue kind of similar to the first one where it makes competitive just feel like a glorified quick play because, okay, well, if the rank icons are no longer displayed at the beginning and even on our own screen, what are we really playing competitive for other than gold guns? And honestly, the people at the top, like in GM and Masters, they probably have all the gold guns, myself included, with, with the exception, of course, of Soldier Sentry 6 gold gun. I'm never getting his gold gun because it looks terrible, but at that point, you're not really playing competitive other than just being able to play the video game. And for people like me, that's a great thing, but I feel like the majority of players, it's not such a great thing because the whole point of playing competitive is to be able to see ranks a lot more prevalently, and they're really trying to hide it in Overwatch 2 competitive. And again, that's just one of many issues going on in competitive in Overwatch 2. So when it comes to actually fixing these issues, here's what I'll say. When it comes to the unintentional changes, those are like the bugs that I brought up at the beginning of the video, like diamond fives being placed at bronze and people playing in lobbies that they don't belong in. Those are probably going to be fixed by the time season two comes out. Hopefully, please, because I can't just continue to hear people saying, oh, I was silver in Overwatch 1, but I got placed in bronze. It's all because of the bug. Honey, it's probably not because of the bug, but I'm just gonna let you have false hope because I can't let you down. I can't see you cry. But when it comes to fixing the actual intentional changes, the first suggestion is to lower the seven wins and 20 losses to something else. And my suggestion is lower it to three wins and 10 losses. This is similar to the ratio that we have right now with seven wins and 20 losses, but it's in a lot shorter of a time frame, meaning that you can get feedback of your rank and be a lot more rewarded a lot more frequently. Another change that is more of a quality of life change is to have the option and turn your rank icon on or off on your own profile underneath your border. Now, when it comes to displaying ranks at the beginning of the match, that's not really what I'm talking about, and frankly, I think we should still keep that off at least for the short time being, but when it comes to your own screen, yeah, display it. Why not? If you're proud of your rank, put it on full display. But the final change that I really didn't touch on in this video that I still think could help competitive and could differentiate between the seasons is to have placement games at the beginning of the season, five games for roll queue and 10 games games for open queue. Now, after those initial placements, I still want the change of three wins or 10 losses to be enabled because I still want the, the sting of defeat to be less hurtful, <laughs> but I really want that starting point to be a little bit more concrete for every single Overwatch player because at the beginning of the season, you don't know if it's going to be seven games or 15 games or 20 games until you get your rank and it can be very daunting knowing that, whereas at the beginning of the season, if you just want your rank, then you know, okay, got to play five games and that. That's it. And those are some changes that I would love to see come into the second season of competitive Overwatch. However, I do understand that even these changes people won't like and they would want to go back to the old system in Overwatch 1, which is why I want you to comment down below again which system you like more. But until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come and bye.